What's up everybody? I'm Rose Clara Chaos and I'm here to help you set up your TTS stickers for your stream stickers extension. Let's get into it. First, let's go over exactly what TTS stickers really are. TTS stands for text to speech and it's a fun way for chat to be able to speak during your live stream. Featured on many, many channels across Twitch as reward point redemptions and alerts, but stream stickers pushes this feature even further by allowing you to quickly and easily add TTS capabilities to your sticker. To access these TTS features, all your community has to do is look at your stream stickers panel and boom, there it is. Setup is super easy and TTS stickers are completely customizable. From the base of the overall sticker itself to the animated eyes and mouth, and most importantly, the voice. You can choose from a huge selection of built-in voice options or even turn your own voice recording into an AI TTS using their advanced voice lab features. TTS stickers come in two forms, stickers and co-hosts. Stickers appear on screen for a short period of time, much like we're used to. They appear, speak the TTS message, and disappear, while co-hosts hang out with you on stream, just waiting to be activated by chat. It makes a great addition to your stream and can really seem to come to life as chat uses them. Now that we've gone over exactly what TTS stickers are, let's go ahead and set one up together. As an example, I'll be using this cute little cupcake as a base sticker. So it's important to note that you have to be an affiliate or higher in order to use the TTS option. For the TTS stickers, you get a total of three custom sticker slots and you can find those in your stream stickers dashboard. So if you're not already there, go ahead and head over to the stream stickers dashboard. From your dashboard, you're gonna click stickers and then head over to the TTS tab over here and scroll down and here you can see you get one, two, three custom sticker slots. I have left this one open so we can set it up together. First, you wanna choose what your TTS sticker is going to be. If you're stuck and you're not sure where to start, there's a ton of free assets in the Stream Stickers Discord and I will link that in the description below and help yourself to any of those. Once you've selected what you wanna use for your sticker, go ahead and click this plus sign and then hit select file. Select your sticker base of a PNG or GIF file, and I'm going with this cute little cupcake, and then click Next. So here's where you customize your sticker. You can choose different sets of eyes and mouth. You can move them around. You could resize them. You can rotate them. You can cycle through all the different options they have here. There's a lot of different options for both eyes and mouth, but if you have something that you would like to use that is custom and you would like to upload your own eyes and mouth, you may do so. So for the eyes, we actually have an animated GIF. So we're just going to resize those about here. That looks good. And we'll rotate them just a little bit. There we go. For the custom mouth, you'll need to upload that in two parts. First, let's upload the talking mouth here like this. And we will rotate this and line this up nice. For the closed mouth, you wanna upload a single frame of the mouth at rest. And this can either be a GIF or a PNG. And we're going to use this one that you will see on the next frame, this one right here. Stream stickers will automatically take care of all of the talking animations between the two assets. So don't worry about that part. Once you've uploaded all of them, you can go ahead and click next. So here's where we give our sticker a voice and really make it come to life. You can choose between AI voices or standard voices and the minimum bit price for the AI voices are higher than standard voices. However, they're much more lifelike, they're realistic, they sound much more natural when they're speaking. Here's the AI voices that you get to choose from. Also with the AI voices, you have multi-language and accent enhancement. These are best for non-English channels. For standard voices, you can choose from all of these different languages and then each option has all of the standard TTS voices. We're gonna go with an AI voice. If you wanna hear what all the voices sound like, you can go ahead down here and click this button that says preview TTS. This is a voice preview of your talking sticker. It sounds pretty good to me. You can do that as many times with as many different voices as you like until you find the right one. This is a voice preview of your talking sticker. It sounds pretty good to me. I think we'll go with this one. It is the BBC Newscaster. If you have a TTS alert sound you'd like to use, you can upload that here. An alert sound is really helpful to prepare for your TTS so you're not talking over it. And we will go ahead and add this. This is a voice preview of your talking sticker. It sounds pretty good to me. Perfect. Lastly, you can toggle this option on if you'd prefer for your sticker's closed mouth asset to be hidden, especially if your base already has a mouth, but ours doesn't, so we're going to leave it off. If everything looks great, go ahead and click Next. Here's where you get to select your display mode. You can choose sticker mode or co-host mode. In sticker mode, it displays in the main browser source with all of your other stickers, and it is only visible when it's activated by a user. So the sticker only appears when someone uses the sticker. It rolls on like a sticker, talks, and then rolls off. And the position and the tilt will be completely random, much like the stream stickers we know now. 
Now, co-host mode is very different. Co-host mode is displayed in a separate browser source, which I will show you how to set up after this. It stays on your screen with you at all times. And it's activated when a user sends a TTS message. So it stays there and then it only talks when someone uses it. And the positioning is set inside OBS or your streaming software. Personally, I like co-host mode better because one, it stays on your screen with you at all times and it's always a constant reminder that it's available to use. And two, I just think it's more fun. It really becomes like a part of your stream and it becomes its own character. So let's go ahead and set up a co-host mode sticker. Go ahead and click copy for now and click next. Give your sticker a name. We're going to name this cupcake and hit submit. Stream stickers will let you know that your sticker is saved. Now let's add it to OBS. Head over to OBS, click the plus sign, click browser. We're going to name this cupcake and then paste in your URL there. Adjust the width 1920 by 1080 and click OK. If everything is correct, you'll see your co-host pop up on screen just like this. And you can go ahead and move it around. You can resize it. You can adjust the box. Feel free to crop this box if you'd like. I prefer to crop the OBS box. It just makes it easier to resize and move around, which you can feel free to do that. Now, if you'd like to preview that in OBS, you can go back to the Stream Stickers dashboard and click Preview. This is a voice preview of your talking sticker. It sounds pretty good to me. And that's it. You have TTS stickers. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below or hop in our Discord and we'll help you any way that we can. Until next time, thanks for tuning in and we can't wait to see your new talking stickers.